Okay, so we're back with part two of the Mr. Gone quick wiring tutorial. So um, <clears throat> when we left off, we just um, sat the the spline on the top, and we're trying to match it up here at the bottom. I'm gonna go in other viewports for this one. So we have that. Let's take this one, and we will move this out a little bit. And we will so we can move it there. That should be fine. And remember, you don't want to bend it too much. I mean, like in this case, we'll over bend it a little bit. But you have to remember these uh these power cords are very thick, and uh you know they're not gonna hold a shape real well unless you crimp it or it sat in a position tied up for a while or whatever. So now that we have our spline basically where we want it, I will show you the next part. It's uh, We'll take one of our previously fabricated wires here that I made, and first I will make this green. We'll take one of our wires, you want to go to the modifier list, and path deform. Okay, it's going to ask you to pick a path, you just pick the path you just made. And whoa, not looking so good, is it? It's because it's um, <coughs> it's a uh, going from where it's originally was set from. Um, what you want to do is move to path. You click this here, and even still, now the wire is looking a little heavier. Um, it kind of looks like uh, bullets now, doesn't it? Uh, so what we can do is just shut that off <coughs> not shut it off but we'll edit this and we will just shrink it down by a little bit And uh, yeah, because we didn't want it to come apart. In retrospect, it would have been better to do this with one, I guess. Uh, with one one cable but you get the gist so I'm not going to go into too much on that just because we're trying to keep it short um, but see it's intersecting with the desk so we can just go back into our spline oops we had it there for a second Go into vertex mode. We can just raise it up. Oops. And just raise it up. And just raise it up. Also, we could take this one and move it out not so far as it intersects I raise that up too now if it doesn't go all the way you can stretch it that's part of uh, the cool way of doing this And again, you want to, you know, you'll pick a wire or you'll uh, make a wire that will work a little bit better for you. And you'll raise this again. 
and basically just kind of tweak it to get it to where you want it to be. Um, I'm not going to get into tremendous detail about it. I just wanted to show you the basics of it. You can twist it. So it twists a couple of times. But every time you twist it, you'll have to um, re-grab your spline and, you know, just um, reposition it so nothing's intersecting again. So yeah, that's basically how you would do the wires. Um, I also got a special request from an Anon that hunted me down from three on the 4chan boards. Uh, he hunted me down through Skype. Yes, I'm available through Skype, though no, I will not do personal requests. Maybe a little bit of advice here and there, but nothing more than that. Um, but he wanted to know how to animate these things. He said he was having trouble, so I'm just going to do that real quick. What I'm going to do is um, just turn that off for right now. I grab my spline and say we wanted this um say we wanted the monitor in your animation somebody's readjusting the monitor so we'll just move it forward a little bit or something doesn't matter what you're doing <coughs> we move it forward and out so now we have to have the spline to readjust and it's it's really just a matter of keyframing again I'm not going to get into much detail because this um is almost we're almost out of time again there it is so we just want to uh, keyframe this back in the proper position so that sticks with it now if you look here And you want to remember, like, uh, as it moves, say at frame 20, we will move this point over. But you don't want to start moving these things until it's time to move them. Do you understand what I mean? Uh, everything is going to affect another thing, but if you... Say if I went to frame 50 and I moved all of them, they would all start moving at once, and that's just not how it will work. Uh, is uh, so that that's basically the gist of it. So you don't want to move this one right away. You want to save that, and as it moves, you would make the cord more taut. See, like that. All right, I'm not going to go in and do the whole thing. That's for you guys to do. But that's exactly how you would do it. As you got here, you now know that this piece would still be in this area. Um, these two would now have shifted a bit. And once these things become taut, that's when you know that you have to move on to the next um, vertex. This one comes up here now. Well, you get the idea. And that's it for this quick tutorial. Um, oh, also, uh, you can, you know, be sure to turn this back on, and that will actually animate with the path. And you have to readjust the whole time, but you get the gist. And see how cool that's looking already. So, that's it for me. Um, where to download this file? We'll I'll publish that information along with this tutorial. So. Um, Thanks for watching, and keep tuned for other quick tutorials.